this pillow is staying here the whole time. Do you understand? Yes, I'm aggressive. I skimmed through just to make sure that their last reaction filmed. And for half of it, my boob is about to flop out. I checked through, I did skim through and the boob didn't fall entirely out. But it is out enough. And I'm probably going to have to crop Titty in the previous video. Because Titty wanted to say ta-da to everyone. What am I talking about? Oh my god. I'm actually triple parked with drinks. If you need an array of drinks to describe the Game of Thrones journey I'm on, these are them. So we've got water. You know, I'm losing a lot of hydration watching this program. I didn't cry in the last episode, which is good, but you never know. So it's always good to come prepared. Tea. Because tea is a very, I find, in, ew, what is that on the bottom? A very indulgent drink. And this program is very indulgent. I feel like you always have a cup of tea when you're watching something quite serious. Oh, that was perfect temperature as well, so I'll drink that first. Finally, you have this. I can't say what this is because of um, YouTube are quite strict on it, but I'm sure you can all guess what this is. Cersei really loves it. So obviously you've got to have a bit of this whilst you're watching Game of Thrones because fuck me, I think this is the key substance to get me through, to be honest. Sod keeping hydrated when you've got this crap going on. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't actually know why that happened. I don't know how I've ended up with fruit drinks, but here we are. So, we're back. We are back for season three, episode two. I feel like that first episode was there to get you in the swing of things again. Have you understanding and and jumping back and... Uh, what's the word? Bit of a catch-up. Bit of a, like, um, my brain. Reminiscing. Catch up. Bit, bit of a catch up. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's the heat. It's so hot here. It's boiling. Like, I'm I'm not made for it. We haven't got air con in this house either. Or any house in the UK. And it's just intense. So, I'm having a bit of, like, brain mush. They say if you drink hot drinks on a hot day, it actually regulates your temperature. Don't quote me on that, I might be totally wrong. If you'd like to catch the full reaction, um, make sure you check out the Patreon. They will be uploaded onto Patreon before they manage to get on YouTube, just because of the editing process takes a little bit longer. And it will show bits that I probably can't keep in for YouTube purposes. So make sure you check it out if you do want to see every single scene and the full shenanigans. Sorry, these are complicating me again. Round the back. So let's just jump straight in, shall we, guys? Let me get myself aired out. Yep. God, that confuses me every time he has these dreams. Because look, he's running. <laughs> ah! One of them dreams, the three-eyed crow. Raven, raven, three-eyed raven. You, now, Bran, you must understand that you need to you need to t pay full attention to these dreams because they're clearly important. Relax your bow arm. I look. It's nice to see them in a scene together. Ah! <laughs> Maybe not. He looks well grown up, doesn't he? You can't kill it, you know. That's the boy from About Boy, no? No. I've got that totally wrong. He's in something. Oh, love actually. Are you inside the wolf again, little lord? No. It's a three eyed raven. He's back. That's worrying her. Kill it, but I couldn't. There was a boy. I don't want to hear about it. The boy is going to come into play. I didn't ask for black magic dreams. 
I know you didn't, little lord. Little lord is very grown up. <laughs> He's not so little anymore. I only know the wall is a long way off. Look, they're gonna go to the wall to get Jon Snow and Jon Snow's flounced off with the wildlings. My mother always told me you as Tarosi were a grim lot. Did you ever think you'd marry one? Not until I met the king of the grim, bearded, stinking God, barbarians. they're so in love, aren't they? Like, woo! Pardon me, Your Grace. Pardon you, indeed. My queen. Yeah. Lord Bolton. Lord Bolton. Lord Bolton with the two belts. Word from Riverrun and Winterfell. Oh. Will I be wearing manacles when I lay my father to rest? Oh, her dad's died. By the time Bolton's bastard got to Winterfell, the Ironborn were gone. They massacred everyone and put the castle to the torch. <gasps> and Bran and Rickon have not been found. Oh, look, they're finding out, they're finding out. Have you heard anything from Theon at all? <gasps> Whoa! <clears throat> Whoa, <sighs> look, at, look at Theon. Oh, Theon. I know he's in pain, but for some reason, it just gives bondage to me. But it's clearly just pain. Where am I? Where are you? Where are, where are you? And where's your dad? Who are you? Are these people that are going against his dad? Ah, what ah. do you want? I want ah. to do this. was horrible what the actual freak is happening to Theon why like I know he was a moron but his dad can't be guiding that she's literally like face on looking at cock she's not even shying away from it she's not you know you have no look in the trees oh look pigeons move why do I feel like they'd make it look like they're going to end up flirting somewhere down the line? I know they're clearly not, but... Ah, uh, Renly. Oh, that would have been a wonderful king. Sounds like you quite fancy him. I did not fancy him. God, you Oh, did. my God! I, I like these scenes. They are quite, like... cutesy in a really, like, annoying way. It's a shame the throne isn't made out of cocks. They'd have never got him off it. Such a laugh. We don't get to choose who we love. We don't get to choose who we love. Wow, Jamie just actually was said something quite profound. Where are you headed then? Sir. You? River Run. Staying off the King's Road, are you? Seven blessings to you. And you? He seemed like a lovely guy, but is he going to go and report back? now look he knows who i am he knows who i am what if he tells someone we're not doing it he's an innocent man oh my god they're like she's gonna have to kill an innocent man oh my god she's gonna have to kill the nice geezer make it tighter here please it makes you look very strong no flowers i said no flowers why it's a lovely fabric and also joffrey if you'd said no flowers i'm sure you would have brought no flowers like a Terrell Rose. Give it to Marjorie for her wedding gown. Should be more than enough fabric. She's so, like, bitter about Marjorie. She liked having Sansa, who she could control. She's an ideal match. With the Tyrells beside us, we'll crush the Northerners. So their fields with salt, and no one will He's think so of rebelling giddy. for another century. He's got a smaller waist than me, this guy. What, what, what are you doing, Joffrey? Like, come on. She married a traitor and known degenerate like Renly Baratheon for a reason. She married Renly Baratheon because she was told to. That's what intelligent women do. What they're told. He's fully turning against his mum here. And all she's done is protect him. Littlefinger's not in love with me. Love is not the thing he wants. So, this look, she's fully dressing her. It's like she can't pick up a jacket and put it on herself. He didn't ask you to do something for him? Spy on someone or...? No. Is she going to tell her? Is Sansa going to tell her? Yeah, she will. If he does ask you for anything or try anything or touch you, I want you to tell me. Why? What will you do? I will make him stop. She took that to... 
This is beautiful. This is just beautiful, these two. I love it. I love it. No matter what Shay's up to, because she's up to something. I love it. Lady Sansa. I wonder if them two will get together. My sister Marjorie invites you to take the air with her and our grandmother, the Lady Olena, in the gardens. May I escort you to them? Look, Sansa's kind of like, she's still got that thing in her where it's like, Oh, I'm being accepted. Someone's been kind to me. Someone important. Obviously, little does she know that he does. he's not into women, so... Surely, like, he's still going to marry someone because he, he's trying to protect... The Lady him. Olena of House Tyrell. Wow! It's so good of you to visit me and my foolish flock of hens. We're very sorry for your losses. And I was sorry when I heard of Lord Renly's death, Lady Mitri. <laughs> Renly was brave and gentle, Grandmother. Father liked him and so did Loras. Do you? Fathead father. Fathead father? I like this lady. Robert has two sons and Renly has an older brother. How can he possibly have any claim to that ugly iron chair? Ugly iron chair. I love this woman. Shall we have some lemon cakes? Lemon cake's my favourite. So we've been told. Why are they doing this though with Sansa? That, that confuses me. There's got to be a reason for this. Do you know my God, son? Look at that view. The Lord of High Garden. I haven't had the pleasure. Mm. No great pleasure, believe me. Ponderous <laughs> oaf. His father was an oaf as well. She's so brutal. She's like everyone, everyone's got someone in their life like this woman, right? Whether it's your nan, a friend of the family, you've got this in your, you've got this around, surely. I want you to tell me the truth about this royal boy, this Joffrey. <sighs> We've heard some troubling tales. Is there any truth to them? Has this boy mistreated you? Is she gonna be honest? His grace is very fair and handsome and as brave as a lion. Yes, all Lannisters are lions. And when a Tyrell farts, it smells like a rose. <laughs> and to be his wife. I only want to know what that means. You've stitched yourself up, is what that means. You're in for a lifetime of misery, is what that means. He also likes to beat women and watch for sexual pleasure. Like, there is nothing good to say about him. Tell us the truth. No harm will come to you. My father always told the truth. Yes, he had that reputation. And they named him traitor oh and took God. his she's head. Gonna, she's Joffrey. Gonna, she's, oh. Joffrey did that. He promised he would be merciful and he cut my father's head off. And he said that was mercy. Oh my and he God. took me up on the walls She's and made fucking me look saying it all. She's saying it all. I don't know if this is a good idea. There's little birds everywhere. Please don't make me say anymore. She's terrified, Grandmother. Just look at her. Speak freely, child. I don't know if I can, love. Like, what's in your hat? Have we got a microphone or something? He's a monster. That's a pity. We've got a little elf writing it all down in that hat. I'm telling you, we don't know what was going on there. We don't, we don't actually know whether they were genuine. They came across very genuine and I fucking love her. But we don't know if there's people in the trees with a notebook. Do you know what I mean? Or like drawing pictures of it or what? Yeah, I speak my mind, your grace. Have you not been speaking your mind, Lord Carstark? <sighs> I think you lost this war the day you married her. Oh, oh, why? What, because he thinks that she's made him soft? What? May I help you, Lady Stark? No. Gosh. She's been back in your corner, Cat. You've got a... Only a mother can make them. I prayed for my son, Bran, to survive his fall. Many years before that, one of the boys she's came down... She's gone through so box. much. As much as I say she's an idiot for what she done, she... This is a mother at her absolute wit's end. So I sat with him all through the darkness. Listened to his ragged little breaths. Which boy? Jon Snow. When my husband brought that baby home from the war, I couldn't bear to look at him. Oh my God. So I prayed to the gods. Take him away. Make him die. <gasps> he got the pox. Oh! And I knew I was the worst woman who ever lived. A murderer. All because I was jealous of his mother. Wow, she's owning it. This is, that's okay, like. So I pray to all seven gods. Let the boy live and I'll love him. I'll be a mother to him. I'll beg my husband to give him a true name, to call him Stark. 
and be done with it. Yeah, but his name's not Stark, is it? And also, he, you weren't, you still weren't fond of him. And I couldn't keep my promise. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this horror that's come to my family. She blames herself. It's all because I couldn't love a motherless child. Ah! Ah, it's weird because I don't want her to blame herself, but in the same breath, you were a prick to this kid. But then, like, it's it's really, like, you can blame her all you want, but he went off and had a freaking affair and came back with a child. They speak seven different wow. languages in my army. The Fens hate the Hornfoots. The Hornfoots hate the Ice River clans. Everyone hates the cave people. <laughs> Poor cave people, freaking hell. Everyone hates the cave people. What's wrong with the cave people? Is it that they don't see much sunlight? Shouldn't be long now. Um, I think we all need to check on your mate. What's wrong with him? He's a warg. He can enter the mind of animals, see through their eyes. He's scouted for us. But you've never met a warg. A warg? Is that the geezer from the office? It is. <gasps> Where were you this time? How did he get his eyes to go like that? What did you see? Dead crows. What's the matter, piggy? You're crying because you're cold. You better shut your face, mate. You don't. You ain't seen what I've seen. Sam, come on, please, babe, do something. Oh, Sam, he's just sad himself. He's a sad man himself right now. He's seen a lot. Don't let him get you, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hello. Hello. Oh, think of Gilly. You left me. When the White Walkers came, you left me. You're fat and you're slow. We didn't want to die. Can't you be nice to him for once? Looks like that piggy is done for. Sorry, mate, but you were walking ahead five minutes ago. Why didn't you keep fucking going? Charlie, I forbid you to die. Well, Russ, you're responsible for him. Make sure he gets back alive. If he doesn't, you don't. Wow. What a way. What a way to show someone to shut the f up. I'm not down for you, piggy. He's still a dickhead. I'm so glad that people are on board to keep Sam alive, just like how I, I need to keep him alive, because we've got Gilly waiting. She must be nearly about to pop. Gilly? I'll never get over it. I'll never get over how much this boy has grown up in my eyes. Like, I don't know if I'm just being a bit dramatic, but he does look a lot older, obviously, like... Can't keep him young forever, can you? No, I, I really don't think you should just run off like that and leave him. If a wolf does that, you know it's not good news. It's the boy! Or not another stuff, boy. <gasps> unless you want to drown in your own blood. Who are you? My sister carries the weapon. <laughs> We've got a wolf! We have a wolf! You must be Summer. Oh my god, he's letting him sniff him. <gasps> What? Are you good? The wolf wouldn't just f off like that if they weren't good. I'm Joden Reed. Joden Reed. Joden Reed. This is my sister, Mira. Joden and Mira. We've come a long way to find you, Brandon. Uh... And we have much farther to go. Joden and Mira are giving me uncomfortable vibes, yet a bit of hope. Should have come to the Red Fork River by now. Maybe we're already past it. It's a hundred feet wide. How? Could we have passed it? <laughs> if we hit the I love park, this we trio! Can find the river run. My mother grew up there. My grandfather's a lord. He'll protect us. Your grandfather's dead. Shit. <laughs> oh my freaking god. They know. Look. Go on down the road. Just keep on singing so we know where you are. Leave us be, and I won't kill you. Aria. Why are your friends so shy? What friends? The fat one to your left and the lad beside him. God, it's like he's got a sick sense. Uh, you ain't gonna die. They're not gonna kill you. They're not gonna kill you. No one's dying here. No, who do you fight for? The Brotherhood without banners. He's got nothing to fear from us, son. The Lords of Westeros want to burn the countryside. We're trying to save it. We'll talk some more over brown bread and stew. And then you can go on your way. Look, he said food to tempt him, and he actually physically had to step back. 
and I'm to going try to and not give that in to the temptation. Down on your fat no, 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 no! So I advise you move. Now! Because I'm done talking. Move, 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 move! move. <sighs> I don't get terrible vibes from them. Should I? My lion. We've spoken of this. Yeah, you need to stop going. The dad is on it now. All right. What is this problem? Oh, I just love them. I love them. I'm worried about Sansa. When she spoke with Lord Baelish, his friend warned me about him. I don't know her name. Oh, Roz, the redhead? How do you know her? Look, she's like, how do you know it? She got a bitch. <laughs> She's a whore. Yes, well, we shouldn't be judgmental about these things. You fucked her. Oh, please. All right, yes, I fucked her once, twice. But... <laughs> and? Was she good? Did you like her? Not as much as I like you, obviously, or she'd be the one torturing I love this now. because... <laughs> We're going with all the questions! Come on! This is literally like a modern-day drama that we've written here. Sansa will have many suitors. A great beauty with a very old name. Great beauty. Oh, a great beauty. Yes, she is. This is so well written. Me, this is so good because this is like they somehow got real life relationship conversations and arguments in to Game of Thrones. Mind blown. I didn't force you to open your mouth and make words come out. This is cruel and unfair. Cruelly unfair. Shay is madly in love with him because she's genuinely jealous. God, they're naughty, these two. They're friggin' naughty. They've got chains and whips hidden around. But you mustn't come here again. Do you hear me? He can't help himself. Like, Shay is going to listen to you. Dangerous people. He can't help himself. <gasps> Marjorie! No. No. Lady Tyrell, my oh. Send her in. Thank God. I thought she was going straight into that room. Look at the archways. How are you finding life in the capital? Joffrey's got a bit of a nervous vibe to him. Like he's in awe of her. And the bedside of a traitor. Is that a place for a lady? I'm full of shit. Look at this. Look how that turned. Renly. I don't believe he was interested in the company of women. What makes you say this? Well, he never f***ed me. He never bedded me. I've considered making his perversion punishable by death. As is your right. She's trying to play it now because she, obviously she knows about her brother. You are the king. She knows. She can read him like a freaking book. Look, stroking his weapons, stroking his weapons, feeding his ego. You're the king whilst she strokes his prized possession. Will you show me how it works? And now look, she has no interest or she probably knows how to do this herself. The bolt goes here. Very, very intelligent lady. And... How is he so fickle? I imagine it must be so exciting to squeeze your finger here and watch something die over there. She had that meeting with Sansa to understand his personality, to really get into his head and make him fall for her. Do you think I could? Yes. Would you like to watch me? Oh, you like sick things, yeah? I'll play on that. Why'd you take Winterfell? To take the North while it was vulnerable. What were you going to do once you took it? Hold it. Rule it. Good. Ah! Did you do that? I told you. Why did you. you take Winterfell? That is why. I did it to bring glory to my house and my father. Mouth is, com mouth is coming out of blood. Blood. Mouth. Blood is coming out of his mouth. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh. <gasps> I can feel for you. sent me. Yara sent him. I'll come for you tonight on the castle sleep. How are we going to get in there, though? He can't walk. 
What is going on here? Wow, we're actually on an X. That's not a cross, that's an X. Do you know what I mean? Rickon, stay with us. It's all right, the wolves will protect him. Oh, I really want a wolf. You can get inside his head, see through his eyes. Only when I'm asleep. That's how it begins. Oh my God, he's a... Um, You're a wolf. He's a wolf! Any boy his age who needs his sister to protect him is going to find himself needing lots of... Nah, protection. not when you what, not when you can see the future, love. Some people will always need help. That doesn't mean they're not worth helping. Ah, do you see that? Do you see that? Spun it on its head, didn't we? Your father is Hal and Reed. Saved my father's life during the rebellion. Father told you about the rebellion. I never did. This is the cutest conversation. Like, we've just realised that we've got superpowers, basically, and we're all so calm about it. I'd be like, guys? Guys, can we all just stop? I can see the future. <laughs> um, who have they got? She's going to recognise this person, whoever's under that. Poor man. You have my sympathy. Look. Oh! What in seven hells are you doing with this dark bitch? Ah! Hound, you f***ed her up now! Shit! Hound, you could like, you, oh, you just kept your mouth shut. But he has such a fondness for Sansa, I think he'll back her as well. Oh, We're literally in open sight. Get up. He is a wind-up. Get up! Wearing the same shit boots for over a year. For over a year, you know. <gasps> I don't know why I thought these two would end up getting on, but they're not going to get on, are they? Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> come on, come on! If you kill me, you oh, fail, now, baby Stark. Ah, the minute they talk, attack. Because they're focused on, their brain's focusing on talking. Come on, come on, you're good. Sword control, that's what that is. I have no idea what I'm talking about. What a beautiful setting for a sword fight, though. Whoa! Lost your balance, did you, Jamie? Ah! Oh my God, I just farted as I screamed. <laughs> Go, on, Brienne! She just whooped his ass. <gasps> sorry, so on. That's him, all right. I saw him fight at the tourney for Sir Willem Frey's wedding. The king in the north hears I had the king slayer and let him go. He'll be taking it right off. Father, he oh takes yours. Oh, my days. Look, they work for Stark. Ha! Ha! Oh, what a long journey we had for f*** all. Ooh, ooh, I love the taste. I love the smell. I love the feel of a little bit of justice. You know what I mean? Brienne then, she <clears throat> smashed it. Smashed it. Not going to mug her off now, are you, Jamie Lannister? Dragon Slayer or King Slayer or whatever your frigging name is. I feel so much right now. I just really hope that we can get... Jamie back to Rob Stark. Then we've got something. Do you know what I mean? We've got that back again. We need Bran to really channel his superpowers with his new little mate. So everything in this was positive for me. Uh, was everything positive? Probably not. I mean, this is Game of Thrones. Shay with Tyrion. Tyrion got a nice blowjob from Shay. Had a lovely little beautiful moment. It is unsafe for Shay, so she needs to be careful. But I don't know. There's something about her. She knows what she's doing. I don't worry about Shay that much because she, in her own right, has got a special set of skills in a lot of regards. We've got Joffrey being manipulated, which is f***ing brilliant. Like, he's met his match there, but in his mind, he just thinks that she's this, this clever little girl that that worships the ground he walks on and actually finds him attractive. Ah, oh, no, it wasn't all positive. Arya Stark has been found out. She's gone this long without being found out by the wrong people. And the Hound, man, the Hound just gave it away. But they could be good. They could be in favour of the Starks. 
I mean, I'm sure the Hound is, rather than Joffrey. He won't want to go back there, will he? Or will he for Sansa? Thank you for watching. Make sure if you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon. I keep going on about it now. I will shut up, literally. Just, you know, give me free videos of going on about it, like, endlessly. And then I promise I'll calm down a bit. Um, I'm just proud of myself that I actually set it up. So, <laughs> for me. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Episode three next. Season three, episode three. That is like number alliteration, no? In a way. Right, I will see you on the next one. I was about to do a kiss and then I didn't know if I was going to say something more. And then it got really confusing in my mind. So I'm going to do that again. Thank you, everyone. See you on the next one. Mwah!